Hey, I'm Mandy here with my friend Kay in her amazing creative workspace here. I am just thoroughly impressed with all of the colors and everything. It's a little crazy. Um, kind of, in, I'm in love with it. Good. I'm super jealous. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have a couple questions for you. Sure. First question, what is the best celebration you've ever been a part of? So this is probably an unusual answer, but um, my husband had cancer um, and we had four small children. And the day that his hair came out, we decided we would go out to the front porch and we wanted to involve the kids. They were little, six and under, and we didn't want them to be afraid. But um, the other kids came from the neighborhood to the front porch because they thought it looked like a party. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it actually turned into one. They, I gave them all little scissors and they all took turns cutting his hair out. And then we shaved him with the dog shears so it would all come off. And then we went out to dinner and he didn't know this, but I had asked our friends to come and all wear ball caps. So we call it um, the bald party because it really was what was a horrible moment in our lives actually turned into something super fun. It was wow. a great party. That's incredible. It was great. So if you were gonna celebrate something today, what would that thing be? You know, I think in some ways I kind of think of every day as a celebration. And so I look at moments throughout the day that I can find um, something to celebrate. Mm -hmm. And right now it's that all of my kids are home and they're all grown and adults and out of the house, but they're all for home. And that for me is a blast. It is absolutely something to celebrate. Everyone under the same roof? Everyone, and their wife and two boyfriends and we're all together and wow. it's super fun. That's fantastic. It is. Is there something that you do every week that kind of helps you to feel more like yourself? There's probably two things that I do every week, and one of them is what happens in this space is almost every day I try to spend, even if it's five minutes, doing something creative. Um, so it's either sewing or I keep an art journal, a daily journal that is um, super crazy and colorful and fun and is a bit um, about what's going on in my life. And those two things are the things that, that are daily, kind of daily rhythms for me. Nice. When have you personally felt most celebrated? Um, I had a 50th birthday party that my husband planned with my good girlfriends and um, it was incredible. I had one daughter that was in Spain at the time and one in Africa and we Skyped them in, had all of my friends in this room and all of these kids together and it was fantastic and it was so fabulous because I just had to show up and I didn't have to do <laughs> anything to plan that whole party. It was a blast. Oh, so fun. Mm -hmm. All right, last question. What is your favorite way to celebrate? Favorite way to celebrate is probably um, just a daily thing that of sewing in this space, but also having my husband with me. That if he's down here with me, whether he's reading or we're just in the same room together, we don't even have to be doing something together, but just being together in the same room and I'm doing something creative, that's my favorite way. It's my favorite have thing. Have you ever roped him in to helping you? Oh, no. Pop it on the sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> now he'll give me opinions. I'll I'll, okay. I'll design All something right. and put it up on my design wall and get his thought on it. He'll give me an opinion, but no, he, he won't help on. He won't help on. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I've got a deadline and I'm working on something and I am in a full flop sweat, he'll just tell me I can do it. Emotional support. <laughs> yeah, it's like emotional it. support, but not actual. <laughs> yeah, I can't chain him to the machine or anything. I kind of wish I could. <laughs>